Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Kamoy, and we are doing a daily vibration today for December 22nd, 2020. Can y'all believe that? Like, we are literally approaching the end of 2020. Uh, we know, just going back to the beginning of the year, y'all, that uh, 2020 was going to be a year of vision. 2020 vision, right? This was going to be a year, my loves, where you were able to kind of redefine exactly um, where you are, what you want, okay, or at least where you need to be going, honey, right? So getting a clear plan, shifting some things out of your life, moving some things in your life. Uh, there could have been relationships ending um, in this energy, right? There could have also been uh, relationships being created within this energy. This was a year, literally, my loves, of being able to really figure out who you are, or at least um, kind of confirm what timeline uh, that you're now in, right? I was on Clubhouse um, earlier yesterday and had a very, very interesting conversation in a group of wonderful young people. Um, just, you know, beautiful, beautiful energy. And it inspired me to just know that you got young people actually tapping in to what's going on right now in the atmosphere. And they can tell that something is going on and they want to be a part of it and follow their own true path, right? So really, really wonderful energy um, in the atmosphere. So I'm just shout out to um, the community that I found yesterday on um, Clubhouse. So with that being said, right, coming out of 2020, going into 2021, we are going to be implementing the changes, right, of the things that we decided we didn't really want in 2020 or the things that we do want, right? So this is going to be a year where you are now implementing those things, right? So you had the whole year to kind of man your square, okay, figure out exactly where you are, what you want, what you want to do, right? So coming into 2021's energy is going to be a game of mental and emotional chess, right? You're going to have to be mentally mentally prepared. You're going to have to be emotionally prepared because there's going to be a lot of changes happening um, within the year 2021. Okay. Now, keeping in mind that we are literally uh, at the end of the year. Yesterday was the 21st. We had that wonderful conjunction between Jupiter and um, Saturn. Okay. And it happened, I believe at zero degrees, um, 29 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, um, in Aquarius, but it was definitely zero degrees in Aquarius, right? Which is powerful within itself, y'all, because Aquarius signifies the age that we're in now, right? This is the age of knowing. This is why you really don't feel the need to seek outside of yourself to figure things out, right? Um, Aquarian energy also signifies you being able to step into newness, right? It's a new way of thinking, a new way of doing things, right? The old way does not work anymore, okay? Now, with that being said, the fact that Saturn and Jupiter is in conjunction at zero degrees Aquarius, which it's powerful in its, its own, and if I'm not mistaken, it's been about 800 years before this energy has actually happened like this in the, in the heavens, right? So, we're in, in, in 800 reduces down to eight, that's a whole nother numerical avenue that I could go down, right? So, all of this wonderful energy, Jupiter representing expansion, right? Then you got Saturn representing lower order and being the timekeeper. Right. So Saturn is going to require you to actually make the foundation and do some things and put some things in place. And Jupiter is supporting Saturn saying, yeah, OK, I got you. If you're going to do this, we're going to expand this. Right. So this is the energy that we're stepping into for the next 20 years with this conjunction. So you need to be mindful of that. We are literally not only are we in a new eight, um, eight year cycle within Venus. And we could talk about that on a different, you know, uh, on a different day. But we're now going into another um, eight. Um, eight year cycle with Venus and then which happened earlier um, this year but and then we, we're also now going into this new 20 year cycle with this Jupiter and Saturn conjunction okay um, keeping in mind however they talk in a Mercury okay so there's a lot of communication going on back and forth so you guys need to be mindful of that energy um, also now um, this energy is going to be applied to each individual differently because depending on where this lines out in your personal chart is going to be where you would need to do most of the work. However, collectively, what you do need to know is the energy represents expansion, 
Okay, the energy represents expansion, um, and it also represents um, being structured, being disciplined in what you are doing uh, to get things done or to 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 have things. Um, um, to work the system in order for you to get the things done that you need. Okay. So be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the balance of the year and coming into 2021, right? We all going to get into a, 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 like a deeper breakdown on the YouTube channel about all of these energies. Cause I do have the notes. Okay. Um, so we're going to do that on YouTube, one of the YouTube live. And I promise you guys, I'm going to do this before, um, I'm going to do this before the end of, um, the week. Okay. So just be mindful of that because this transition that we're in, cause we're still, you know, pretty much, um, um, in, um, Capricorn for 30 days. Okay. Not to mention that eclipse energy, uh, we're still in, you know, um, some of that eclipse energy. So a lot going on. We're going to get into that on the live. All right. So. Today, once again, my loves, is December 22nd, 2020, vibrating on the number two, all right? Now, today is Tuesday, all right? Tuesday is ruled by Mars, and Tuesday, the actual day, is vibrating on the number five, all right? Now, a few things I want you to keep in mind just about today, right? Um, I'm not quite sure where the moon is at, because I didn't look that up before we actually, um, okay. I'm not quite sure where the moon is at because I didn't look that up actually before I got on, right? Um, but I do believe the moon is going to be, it's void um, as we speak, right? Which is giving everybody an opportunity. If it's not void as we speak, it's void as I'm recording. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> right? Um, which is giving us an opportunity really to, to reflect and get back in tune with our spiritual self. It's definitely, pro it's definitely void while I'm recording, guys. Um... I'm going to verify that too, just to make sure that I'm giving you guys a, um, so let's, let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I want to say this, y'all, it's actually out of the void. So we're out of the void, okay? Um, yeah, we actually, we're out of the void. So the moon is in Aries now, right? Um, we go into, um, we go into Aries, um, sorry, not Aries, Taurus on the 24th, okay? So we're entering Taurus's energy in the moon on the 24th, right? Um, so, which leads me to tell you this, right? Which today being Tuesday, Tuesday's ruled by Mars, right? That's already energy of pure, raw, sheer power. So you're either going to use that power to focus and get things done, or you can use that power explosively because Mars is the god of war. So Tuesday in itself, you can see people a lot more either action-driven, you know, or a lot more explosive. Now, because we have a lot of that sensitive energy in the atmosphere, just so you know, um, with all of this change of the eclipse energy that just left and as well as the full moon energy in, in, in cancer that's coming up, not even to mention this conjunction that just happened, like it's a lot going on y'all. Okay. So you need to be mindful of a few things as you're moving throughout the day to day. All right. So vibrated on the number two, we have the actual date, right? Intuitive energy is going to be in the atmosphere for you today. So you're going to have to be mindful to tap into your intuition today. That can literally, um, save your life today. Right. And not just to save your life in a physical sense, but maybe on an emotional sense or um, a mental sense, okay? So trust your intuition today. Balance is going to be key on the, the vibration of the number two today, all right? Being able to be flexible is going to be key too. Now, keeping in mind, okay, we are in, the moon is in Aries as I am recording this in the moon is not going into Taurus until the 24th. So, which means this, if the moon is already in Aries, right? And today is ruled by Mars, which is in Aries. Aries is ruled by Mars, right? You have to understand this. A lot of people right now are going to be like, um... Um, I want to say triggered, okay, in this energy. So if people are triggered emotionally within this energy today, keep keep this in mind, right? And they're not balanced in that house, in that first house where they know who they are, right? And that can cause a problem. 
be mindful of that. You can find people easily triggered today. So being able to be flexible today, not just in your schedule, but in your feelings, in your emotions, okay? It's going to be it's gonna be important, all right? You're going to have to balance some things today in that area, all right? Now, being decisive is going to be important for some of you today, especially if you're doing anything around documents, okay? Make sure that you are clear about wanting to sign or make sure you are clear about what you are signing today, okay? That's going to be important for some of you. Some of you today on the vibration of the number two and the higher end of it, you're going to have to be the peacemaker, which means, right, sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it, okay? Uh, and that could be more on the assertive end, Okay, where you have to be a little bit more firm or that could be a little bit more on the softer end, just depending on the, uh, the situation and how you want that to play out. Now, vibrating on the lower aspect of the number two, and this is what you need to be mindful about. Energy is fluid, which means if you're not operating in one of these energy patterns, the people that you're interacting with could be the person that you call over the phone, who you're sitting to on the train, who you're working to next, you know, who you're standing next to at the job, who's you, you know, so you need to be mindful of this, right? We are always jumping in and out of these energy frequencies, all right? So the lower vibrational energy of the number two today, which you need to be uh, mindful of, is just pure, you know, some people are going to be on some argumentative shit today because you got argumentative energy in the atmosphere. So be mindful of that along with the unloving energy and a lot of fearfulness. So when people are afraid or when people don't understand, they fear what they don't know. So if you are bringing things into balance today and you find that you're trying to express yourself, you're trying to get your point across, um, and you feel resistance from one particular person, or you feel resistance from a group, you need to be mindful. A lot of people are tapping in and operating on this fearfulness in the atmosphere today. So you need to be mindful that you're not caught up in that spin, okay? Jump back out of that energy or that state of fearfulness if that's what's popping up for you and jump back over into you being able to bring things into balance and following your intuition, all right? Now, vibrating on the number five is Tuesday itself, the actual day, right? Now, keeping in mind, if you're using your intuition with all of these particular vibration of these numbers and these frequency, right? Your intuition is always going to save you. Five vibrates on change, right? We're coming into a season or a year of change in 2021, honey. So you're going to have to get to math to some change because really the only thing that's promised to you in this realm and in this dimension and in the universe is change because the universe and even in this third dimensional realm is always constantly expanding right <clears throat> It's constantly expanding, okay? Now, if anything is retracting, that's because it's getting rid of the old to expand again. So please know that there's always going to be um, an expansion to take you past what you um, don't know or what you think you know. There's going to be a retraction to bring you back in to maybe release some things that you should have that you didn't, okay? So be mindful of that. You can participate in the change instead of fighting change moving through this energy today, okay? Motivation is going to be key for some of you today. You're going to have to motivate yourself. That's just how it is, okay? Now, today, what's important within this number five that you need to be mindful of is life, um, your life lessons happening through your experiences, right? So instead of jumping off and maybe popping off with the mouth or popping off in the feelings, you maybe want to take the lesson today from the experience, right? Because if Tuesday is ruled by Mars, and you already know Mars is always a little, you know, <laughs> you know, a little just fire energy all up in your face, right? If that energy is already there, why not utilize that energy and direct it where you want it, right? You don't have to direct it into people and situations that's not going to yield you, you know, the outcome that you want. You don't have to do that, right? Now, lower vibrational end of the number five, which you need to be mindful of today, there's restless energy in the atmosphere, anxious energy in the atmosphere, okay? If you're afraid of the change, you are going to feel the restless energy. You're going to feel the anxious energy. So embrace the change today. If your train is late, Okay, um, and you always feel the need to be in control and that annoys you, you're going to have to swap states, right? Go back to you being able to embrace the change. What's the lesson today, right? Go back and ask yourself that question, right? You know, sometimes I could be um, operating in a place of impatience. So I have to jump myself back over to knowing that everything is in divine timing and is in divine order, right? And I'm creating this, right? All right, so 
Know this also, on the lower vibrational end of the number five today, there's major change happening, and this can bring in some violent change, quick violent change, all right? So this is why you want to be mindful of your emotions and how you are responding to things today, okay? Um, because this could be um, playing out in ways that you don't need it to play out if you can control your emotions, okay? Now, Tapping into the four elements, all right? Now, because we are in Capricorn season, we're going to start off with the earth signs, right? Capricorn, Virgos, and Taurus. If you are not a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, my love, what you're going to do is you're going to apply this message, right? You're going to apply this message to the earthly realm. So this is the physical things, the house, the car, the bills, um, the children, and the responsibility that comes therein of making sure these things get done and taken care of, okay? So the message today is... Crown chakra, destiny, um, solar plexus, energy, dispis, dispis, I always get this, ro this word wrong. It's like a tongue twister, right? Dissipating. Okay? Dissipating energy is what's popping off in the um, solar plexus energy today. Um, you got sacral chakra energy, um, per um, perseverance. Okay? Let's get through destiny. Destiny is dealing with your... Um, your crown chakra. That that means intuitive energy is in the atmosphere. That means if you don't know what to do today, be mindful that there is guidance happening. You just need to get quiet so you can hear it, right? Within this guidance coming in today, they're asking you, what are you wasting your time on? What are you wasting your time on, right? What is draining your energy, right? What is draining your energy with this um, energy that's dissipating you? What is drowning? What, what, what are you wasting your time on? What is draining your energy today, right? Whatever is draining your energy today, you need to take away the focus from that, right? And put it back to your emotions. Put it back to the relationships and the change that needs to happen, right? And persevere and push through. Your sacral chakra has to do with emotions, relationships, and the changes that needs to happen in these relationships. It also has to do with karmic patterns, which means if you're the common denominator in these relationships you're gonna have to look at yourself and if somebody else is in the common denominator of this situation you may have to check them right so what are you wasting your time on today destiny is at hand which means your future is at hand okay focus the things on what you want to accomplish today and persevere through those things don't put your energy on the things that you can't accomplish right or the people you can't control okay or the situations you can't control and if i could give you a tip honey you can only control yourself i'm just saying even if you have children, come on now, y'all. Some of y'all have toddlers. Y'all know y'all tell y'all toddlers don't do, and they do. Now, imagine those toddlers growing up and having a mind of their own, really having a mind of their own. Okay, honey? So just understand that. You can't control anybody but yourself. Okay? So now going on over to the ear energy. Ear energy is going to be Geminis. It's going to be Libras. It's also going to be Aquarius. If you are not a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, you're going to apply the ear energy to your mental and your spiritual thinking. This is in your head shit. The conversation that you have with yourself. The conversations you're replaying in your head that you had with somebody else. Okay? This is all mental and spiritual thinking in your head stuff. All right? So the message to Day for the ear signs as well as the ear element, right? Is impatience, which is throat chakra, how you communicate. Okay. This is this is how you cast your spells. Okay. Throat chakra is responsible for your spelling, your words. Okay. So watch your words today. Don't be impatient in your communication today. Okay. Now, you also have impartiality popping up with your crown chakra. This is saying messages is coming in from your higher self. You having, yeah. Are or, or, or you judging things impartially? Or are you impatient? Okay. Are you speaking things that you don't want to experience into the atmosphere, right? Or are you speaking enlightenment that's popping up with this um, solar plexus energy here? Solar plexus energy is responsible for your ego, your will, your self-confidence, self-mastery, self-discipline, right? And it's strength, okay? Come on, y'all. Don't let your impatience and your impartiality, because you're not checking yourself, right, pull you out of a space where you can gain some enlightenment about a situation about yourself, okay, um, or maybe even about some changes that you need to, um, to make, all right? Okay, so moving on to the wonderful water energy, right, or water signs. If you are a Scorpio, hey, Scorpios, if you are a Pisces or a Cancer, my love, this message is going to apply to you. If you are not a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer, 
chance that you're going to apply this message to your emotions. This is going to be your feelings, okay? Now, y'all know how I say about your feelings, right? Whoever controls you emotionally controls what you do, what you say, what you don't do, what you don't say, how you feel, you know? Um, they control your whole day, your whole mood. So it is important for you to master this element even if you are not a water sign, Okay? You got root chakra energy popping up with perfection. Your root chakra is responsible for what's grounding you. This is where family energy lies. This is where um, trust lies. This is where your relationship with money lies. This is where stability lies. This is where anxiety lies. This is where fear lies, right? This right here is saying, look at you from the inside. This card represents you looking at yourself from the inside. And if you have been following me long enough, you know my saying, right? It is within your imperfections that you are perfect. So if you're looking for perfection outside of your imperfections, outside of yourself, you're always going to be lost, my love, okay? Remember, root chakra grounds you. How do you feel about yourself? How do you view the world, right? How do you view yourself, right? Now, the next message is dealing with the heart chakra, and it's saying grief, some of you are looking at your perfections based on the grief and the trauma that you've had to go through. Heart chakra has to deal with love, compassion, and forgiveness. And forgiveness, honey, don't have nothing to do with nobody getting away with shit. Forgiveness has to do with you being able to move past the trauma so you can live your best life, okay? So if you're dealing with some grief today, they're asking you to not look at it from a place of um, where you're looking at someone else's eyes based on your trauma right? No, look at your own perfection from internally, right? And then when you start to do that, come on now, third eye chakra energy asking you to change your perception and be grateful. Third eye chakra energy is all about perception and it's saying change your perception and step into a place of gratitude and that's how you need to be moving, all right? Now, Last but not least, we are going to tap into the wonderful fire element. Fire element is going to be Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. If you are not a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, you can use this energy to the element of action, movement, passion, energy, lustful energy, just depending on what you're going through, right? But it's also energy of your intuition, trusting your intuition, okay? It's going to be action-driven, guys, all right? So... That's how you can apply that energy if you're not a fire sign, all right? So, you got third eye chakra energy. And remember, I told you third eye chakra is all about your perception, your imagination, right? Can you see yourself out of a situation? Because if you can't see yourself on the other side of something, then you can't get to the other side of that. If you think there's no way out and you don't see a way out, guess what? Ain't going to be no way out, right? And what they're asking you to do is to recover. Recovery is popping up. Recover that. Recover your imagination, right? Recover that vision. Recover that part of you where you can see yourself out of situations, where you can see yourself having having better, um, walking in abundance, you know, doing more, right? Living your truth, okay? It's time to recover your truth, right? Now, they're, they're saying recover your abundance, my love. Abundance is solar plexus energy, self-confidence, right? Determination, my love, self-mastery, self-discipline lies in this chakra, right? Now, if you're taking a look at this card via video, you know, you got two options. You can see the glass as half empty, or you can see the woes of life, or you can see the glass of half full. And if you've been down and beaten and been haven't been able to move upwardly, if you're ready at the bottom, ain't no way to go but the top, right? Understand that. We're in a new season right now. This is a reset season. Mental and emotional stability and mastery is the way to go. And how are you doing that today, my love? You're doing that by following your instincts with this crown chakra energy, divine connection, tapping into your higher self. Okay, we're talking about energy with your angels, your guides, your ancestors, aka angles of light that dwells within you. Okay, so follow your instincts today, y'all. Okay. Okay, so we went through all the signs. Everybody has their information, all right? Now, let me remind you, and I should have said this in the beginning of the video, all right? Um, the full moon is coming up in Cancer on the 30th, if I'm not mistaken, on the 29th, just depending on what part of the globe you're at. Now, I do want to say this. I will be having a meditation on the 28th. There are only now six slots, because I think I just, yeah. There's six slots left, okay? Um, once I hit the max of six, I am going to be closing the room, all right? Um, because I'm going to be doing something special. I'm literally going to be tapping into your energy and kind of giving you a map of what you may need to be paying attention to within this full moon energy, okay? Um, so 
that's going to be capped at a total of seven people. I have six more slots left. Um, if you are interested, you can find the information on YouTube in my description box, okay? Um, if you are interested and you just want to go ahead and submit your donation, you can do so um, by submitting your donation to my cash app, dollar sign K-I-M-O-Y-106, okay? That's a $25 donation. Make sure that you put your email address in there as well as referencing that it's for the full moon meditation. Um, if you were going to cash um, at me, I just gave you that, but if you're going to um, PayPal me, my loves, you can definitely PayPal me at the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com. So the same way the channel is spelt um, is the same way my email address was, is spelt at gmail.com. Okay. It's going to be a lot of information in this new moon energy. All right. I appreciate each and every one of you, my loves. Y'all need to do something kind for yourself today. Love yourself, honor yourself, my loves. And remember, out of darkness comes enlightenment, right? So can't get to the other side without going through the dark and figuring out who you are, okay? All right, enjoy your damn to see y'all tomorrow. Bye, my loves.